Hey guys, Code with Jay here, and today I want to combine a lot of our old tutorials, or just previous tutorials, and put it all together in one application. So we're going to be using the Flask framework to make a Python web application, and we're going to use that to display a trading view chart, in which we'll dynamically update with the data that we get back from Alpaca. So this is just going to be a very basic example, but I hope this helps you guys learn how to connect everything together. Before we get started in the code, I just wanted to show you the trading view chart that we can just embed into our HTML code. You can customize it here. The most important thing for this tutorial is that we have show watch list. In show watch list, we'll be able to modify and update dynamically this list on the side. Again, we're going to be using Alpaca API, and this is important because this will give us our exchange and our symbol, and that is important because as you can see in our watch list, it requires the exchange and the symbol. So we're going to format this string ourselves in Python, put it in a list, and pass it on to the Flask to display it. So inside here now, inside our code, we're going to say a new file, and we're going to call main.py. In main.py, the next thing we're going to do is say import Flask as fl or from Flask import flask and we also want to import our config file the next thing we want to do is start the basis for our flask app we're going to say app equals flask pass it name with two underscores and say if name is equal to main with two underscores we're going to say app dot run and we're going to say debug is equal to true this starts our Flask application. The way you can test that is just by running this. We can control click on this link and you can see, although nothing's found, we haven't loaded any HTML. So don't worry, but the server is working. We're gonna go back to our code now and we're gonna start off by going ahead and making a folder, calling it templates and making a new file and calling it index.html. Going back to our code, we're going to say import comma render template. Now we can make a root for our app. So in the HTML, uh, in the, actually I should say URL, not HTML, slash, you know, page here. This would go to the root of slash page. So in our code, we would write app dot root slash page and that would load this section of the code and we can return whichever html document we want maybe page.html instead i'm going to say we're going to leave it as the root and we're going to say def index make a function and we're going to return the render template of index.html inside of h index.html we're now going to say doc type we're going to say html and head i'm not going to do all the meta uh, tags here just because this is for a very simple tutorial purpose but we're going to give it a title of trading view chart and in our body again we're going to have a header here we're going to say trading uh, view chart and underneath this this is where i'm going to paste our embedded trading view chart. So going back to the browser here, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code. And then I'm gonna go back to the code, paste this code. Seems like I didn't tab the way I would like it. So we're gonna do that. Fix its comment here to make it look neat. And it looks just about right. What we can do now is we can go back, refresh, and look, our trading view chart with a very skinny, skinny, small length. Don't worry, we can adjust this in CSS. We're gonna go ahead and close this for now. Inside this div here, I'm gonna go ahead and say style equals. I'm gonna go ahead and say the width is gonna be 70%. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say the height is going to be 800 pixels. And to get it in the center here, I'm gonna say margin left is auto, margin right, auto. 
going to go ahead and save this, go back, refresh. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get this text into the center as well. In here, I'm going to write style and text align center. And reload. Beautiful. Now you see we still have just the singular hard-coded stock. Now let's go ahead and make a new file here. And we're going to call this api.py. And we're going to go ahead and import alpaca trade api as trade api. Then we're going to also import our config file. And we're going to say uh, make a function. We'll call it convert watch list. Inside this function, the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and hard code uh, a stock list for this tutorial, but you guys can always pass in whatever list you have. So I'm going to go ahead and say stock list is equal to, and I'm just going to put a couple stocks in here, but we'll get the point. We'll do it. Just all the text stocks I can do off the top of my head. I think that's, I think that's good enough. All right, now that we have this stock list here, we're going to do our next step, which is load in the Alpaca Trade API. So we're gonna say API equals trade API dot rest. And we're gonna go ahead and pass in, so you can see it wants our key. So I'm gonna say config dot Alpaca key. Oh, I'm gonna pass it the config dot Alpaca secret key and our base url config dot and base url next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make an empty array and i'm going to call this watch list this is where we're going to store all our final values all our final strings that will have the exchange and basically goal is to go from apple to what is it nasdaq apple so now that we have this, we can go ahead and loop through our stock list. We can say for stock in stock list, and we're going to say api.getasset, and we're going to pass in the stock, and we're going to set this equal to data, so we store it into something. And now that we have it stored into data, we can say the symbol is going to be data.getAttribute symbol. And I knew this because if we go to the alpaca docs simple and exchange are the two values we want and this is what it will return so we can do this say exchange equals data dot get attribute if i can spell and exchange now what i want to do is format this string so i'm going to say x equals string and basically it was exchange that's accept exchange i want to then add the uh, colon that was in between them and then the symbol so for all of those i want to then append that into the new stock list and then we'll at the very end return our watch list now that we have our watch list here, what we can do is we can head back to main.py and in here in index, oh, not import config. This is where we're gonna have to import our API. In here, this is exactly what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do api.convertwatchlist. And again, you can pass it the list here if you did that and we'll say data equals and now that we have the data, we can go ahead and pass our template the data. So we'll say data equals data. And in here, we can go ahead and put, we'll go ahead and delete all of this. And with using our Jinja formatting, we'll say data and save. Now, if we save everything here, I'm going to go ahead and just restart the alpaca or sorry the flask framework and we open up our trading view chart and hit reload you'll see that we have a trading view chart and the watch list has been 
dynamically added to. So whether it's whatever algorithmic training scan and whatever returned came back to you, you can put this into this watch list and quickly switch between these and use your indicators and figure out where you want to enter. Thank you again for watching this tutorial. If you liked it, leave it a like. If you disliked it, leave it a dislike. If you have questions, comments, or need the code, leave a comment down below.